Good morning. Welcome to day number two of the Christmas Code. I am Pastor Randy with Mount Beulah Baptist Church, um, and I trust you enjoyed uh, the devotional today. Uh, the key word is quite interesting, though. Uh, the key word for the Christmas Code day two is that of grief. And I know when we come to the Christmas season, that is the last thing I really want to think about. I want to think of uh, joyful things, happiness, um, decorations for Christmas, the Christmas tree, um, ornaments that we pull out and remember that we had from years ago. Um, for me specifically, it's the family together, and we get to decorate and uh, get everything ready for the holidays. And so grief is not a word I want to really consider, but if we consider the genealogy of Jesus, we consider the roots of which he came, and we go back, we understand that there was grief um, in his ancestry. It was Abraham who, with the aspect of his wife, uh, Sarah, and her handmaid, Hagar, that Abraham sent his firstborn son away, Ishmael. It was King David who had a baby die because of his adulterous affair with that of Bathsheba. In that, his home, his family was a mess. A couple sons that had issues. One uh, raped a stepsister. Another murdered him. And then that son, Absalom, rebelled against David and the kingdom. David would understand the aspect of grief. We come to the month of December and statistics tell us that sadly there are more suicides and suicide attempts in this month than any other month in our calendar year. Some would say it's because of uh, the pain and suffering, uh, family, um, some loneliness, others, the burden of grief that is just too much for them to bear in this holiday season. And so what is the solution? For us as believers, the solution is Jesus Christ. Jesus states in John chapter 16, verse 22, and ye now therefore have sorrow. And he was talking to his disciples and said, guys, you've got sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Uh, the truth of the matter is, Yes, there are times for us to grieve. It may be the loss of a loved one. It may be a new holiday season without someone that you were close to. The truth of the matter is, Jesus told his disciples, yes, there's going to be a time of sorrow, but you will see me again. And um, when that happens, uh, your heart shall rejoice. And so let me put it out there right now, no matter what your grief is, no matter what your sorrow is, I would encourage your heart to rejoice in the fact that as believers, Jesus Christ is with us. And yes, Christ had some grief in his genealogy. And yes, Jesus understood the grief of the Garden of Gethsemane. And yes, Isaiah the prophet said in Isaiah 53, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Jesus understands the grief that you're going through. And I want to challenge you, put your grief on him. Enjoy the Christmas season and what God is doing in our lives. And know as believers, no matter what grief you're facing, that Jesus is with you. And according to John 16, your heart shall rejoice and no man will take your joy away from you. God bless you today.